Hey guys, it's Shadow. If you've been enjoying this campaign playthrough so far, please leave a like as it really helps the channel grow. Now without further ado, let's jump into the Syria of Man campaign. Forward march! We do not stop until the sun falls beneath the tree line. I am Sangrama, honored general of the Khmer Empire, tasked with quelling a rebellion. Just a year after the passing, of the revered Suyavarman, his successor faces staunch opposition. This chaos threatens to dismantle the empire that took nearly five decades to build. Inspiring an army of largely levy soldiery is difficult. Most are simple farmers and craftsmen, strangers to the ways of war and the grim chaos of battle. They should understand the cause for which they fight. As we trudged through the mud, I summoned the captains to the front of the line. I told them of the events that occurred before many of them were born. They would use this knowledge to inspire their men to fight. Suya Varman was once little more than a magnet with a minor claim to the throne held by another. Udiaditya Varman I had established his seat in Angkor, claiming the entire empire as his dominion. Gathering his army, Surya Varman marched on Angkor from the west, establishing a camp not far from the city. I don't really remember much of the Khmer campaign, to be honest. <laughs> From this camp, we will build up and strike at Angkor. Udia Ditya Varman's reign ends this day! Looking at this. I don't want to build a castle forward. This one can go exploring to the right. I want a castle over this direction, so I know that there's a camp over here. Okay. Yes. I make sure I send enough of my starting villages to do it. I want them to collect a little bit more food so I can keep my TC running. Oh no, I clicked that spearman away, didn't I? I never use the scout anyway, it's faster. I actually have no upgrades just yet. Wait, so they're trading already? Ah. Maybe I should have castled that instead. Another house there so they can hop into it if needed. Or he's gated off so they can't trade. And they waste the population space as well. That in. Alright, see if they actually can defend this. They'll have some level of defense. Ah, so they already have like a little camp over there. It won't matter. That's good. Especially with the hero here. Yeah. I don't think I have absolutely any upgrades on much anything here. Yeah, zero upgrades. Let's go up anyway. Alright, sell a little wood and buy a little food. That's Uditya. Farm and brings his army forward. We should be fine. Yeah, sounds so. 
Might leave these ones to uh, not use the these to build that. Like even three. I actually wonder if it would have been better staying in feudal. But at least this gives me a bit of a position to attack from. Yeah, Sansong. 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 Yeah, Sans
Green Root Roar. I don't want to place that second yeah, castle if I can. It's really weird, even though Khmer don't need nice farms to for their economy, I seem to have nicer farms with Khmer I do with most other civs. Okay, let's build that second castle. Right. Oh, they got to castle. I didn't even notice that they were in castle age. Fortunately, no Imperial Age. Why did it randomly start attacking? It wasn't even remotely interested, and then it all, was, oh boy, all of a sudden it was. Oops. Oh my god, it's gonna get three bills. No, 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 no. Looks like I can't actually. Wait, I probably was a hundred. <laughs> Another eighty three bills. Those first. Let's nice. kind of ignore the server man this time, interesting. Uh, I do not need this very on gold. I need that as I'm come out. Bill's just wrong building farms like this. We're actually have to go and kill castles as well, right? Yep. And they're on a slightly raised hill and you're locked in the castle. Age. Oh, 
I'm so glad that for the most part they seem to have done away with this group in more recent campaigns. I'm gonna lie, it was absolutely maddening. I need a few more from this side then. They're gonna actually turn that. Oh, that's a lot of army. And because they don't need any pop space for military. Where is there? He's in the castle, isn't he? Yep. Oh my lord. Might even go for heresy then. We will want another castle. I need to delete some bills. Problem is that for elephant economy, you normally want like a insane economy. But when you have such a limited hop space, you can't really do that. Uh, please, wait, we'll do a house first so we can run the bills as needed. I'm pretty sure there must be a, a little area down here because the units that were coming towards me. I'm worried about that. I built it in such a bad spot, oh my god. Absolute nightmare. Legit tempted to just try converting everything they make. They'll have heresy, I almost guarantee. They all have heresy, yeah. Oh, they don't actually have it that close, then. That should be where the castle is. Come on, I don't get heresy, so unless they coded it in, they get heresy in this mission. Be fine. Thank you, Ian. 
Niak Sang So Niak Sang So Dream Niak Sang So Niak Sang So Niak Sang So Nobo Tringling Aigma I'm full clown Oh, I'm out of That's bad. Okay, so they send some over there. I need atonement. I don't. Oh, come on, I don't get atonement. <laughs> I feel like this isn't working the way I was hoping it would. Part of that reason though is uh, lack of pop space. I think that these missions that have such stringent requirements when it comes to... Uh, uh, killing castles and stuff to win the mission. Wouldn't be so bad if they had decent pop limits and at least bare minimum access. To that ram. I think they did a couple of missions like that in the later. Campaign, so one has bad. Very lacking wood. Okay, we don't, we can just go for those now. No, that's not, okay. That one actually has to be gone the old fashioned way.
I guess I lost most of my uh, mobs. And it appears as if they are hard coded to just irritate the ever loving hell out of me. Delete these ones. Ah, oh, that's why some of my rams are so far away. You know what, just delete them. Oh no, I lost all my mobs. I lost all of them. Oh, they're using redemption against me. <gasps> no. Okay, delete these as I get them. They can't reclaim them. Now the monks aren't really working so well. <laughs> Let's try and get this up. That's like I have a little more of an Red's really freaking fine. Though. I kind of wonder if crossbow was the way. Or even ballista elephants would have been easier. Once you get like 20 of those bad boys, nothing kills you. Although they weren't making quite a few mocks. Going to set at least a little bit. to the freaking houses. Makes no sense. Patrolled them in over here thinking that they'd actually go and attack it. I thought the unit would be more useful. Okay, that should be pretty much game over now. Yes, 
Just in time as over real people running out of gold. I like the monk idea until it it didn't work as I intended it to. the towel but I can't you ready you win <laughs> the captains listened eagerly as I gave my account of the usurpation Despite a numerical disadvantage, Suya Varma's tactical acumen proved critical to the success of such a risky offensive. Droves of Uriatitya Varma's troops fell to Suya Varma's disciplined infantry and elephant corps. Entering Angkor, Suya Varma gave the order to his disciplined army that the city was to be left intact. The civilians unharmed. He would not begin his rule by committing acts of savage tyranny upon his own people. Ascent to power does not come easily. Once the head of one beast is removed, three spring to take its place. Thus it was with Suya Varman's enemies. Rebel factions sprung up to the north, east, and south of Angkor. Legions of disgruntled soldiers marched on the city, threatening to topple Suya Varman just as quickly as he had ascended to power. The most dangerous rebel faction was led by Jayavira Varman, a warlord from Malaysia with a distant claim to the throne. Advancing from the south at a rapid pace, he acquired much support from the local populace. Suya Varman had to act quickly. The rebel forces, were they to unite, would present quite a challenge to an army that had only recently emerged victorious from a grueling campaign. There was precious little time to spare. Oh, this one. I think I built castles everywhere I went CA last time. Bye. The rebel scum threaten us from three directions. Strike them down quickly before they can pull their forces. Uh, I'm probably there as well. I have a lot of stone. Um Okay. Really the better grass is what's around. Oh, we can't actually get to okay. No Bob Rania. I actually might got that slightly further over. Probably shouldn't do that thing that I don't have any stone income. Is that though? 
No bomb on ya. Bot so bomb move. Bot so bomb, bot so bomb. As long as the AI can't get in as well, it's fine. Really want it to also hit there as well. Yeah, I'll do. I don't want them actually going in yet. The rebuy the wood I sold. Okay, let's just try this and then we should take over the town, I believe. I think that's how it works. Find out in a minute. Oh. There we go. This is when I wish I had the harbors from the last campaign. That should be the final persona buy for now. Mm, what we'll probably do there actually is we'll build it back here. Damn it, doesn't actually range even though I placed it a bit closer. That sucks. I remember if I get decent naval capabilities or not. I think it's anything special to this. At least we have 200 pop space. Let's get university down. Kinda losing that. <gasps> There's relics! That'd have been handy to have realized earlier. lose the board position if someone wants to convert the buildings back to be honest. Ballistic. 
I ate water holes yesterday. I actually have a safe stone over there. Be taking or safe-ish anyway. Well, now that that's dealt with, butter holes isn't necessary. You realize I have some loose stuff, I think? Right, this one can also come to the stone over here. He needed shot as well. I always forget just how expensive that technology is. Then I go to use it and it's like, oh wow. I think we might use knights this time. None for you. I think there is a certain point at which you can actually go in for this mission. I can't remember what it is though. Box. <laughs> oh, did I just come back a villager? Oh boy. But it's two villagers actually. Really that castle yesterday. Definitely should have been adding more fishing ships than I was. Bye. 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 Bye.
I lose a lot of villagers though. I can't really tell to me. I need that. I need this though. Plus, you can buy him now. Do not. Oh no, <laughs> that's gonna be the next area they start hitting. Let go like cap initially. Let me in. Thank you. Good man, get out. Oh, I'm going to lose another one. Oh my god, can I not? No towers for you. Build and get another castle. Please drop off your stone. Middle of nowhere farming. Love it. ไอ้ไว้ใช่ไหมเวิร์ดเนี่ยสังสังเนี่ยสังเนี่ยสังเนี่ยสังสังเนี่ยสังสังเนี่ยสังสังเนี่ยสังสังเนี่ยสังสัง
In fact, there'll probably be a lot of deletions soon. Time to really amp up the stone price. <laughs> Because if I hadn't already done like quite a bit already. That is fine. That is a slight problem. Crack them on a little bit of an adventure. <laughs> Screw you, monks. This mission should definitely be an Imperial Age. Not start, but access to Imperial Age available. I have enough villagers building that. Let's build an outpost here. At least you don't have to get rid of the main fortification to uh, capture each town area. Definitely makes it a little easier. And there's a lot of resources here as well, which is pretty cool.
I think it's actually the fishing ship that I need to die. Maybe a few of these as well. A few more can come forward. That should give me access to the town. There we go. Well, they'd give me the bills as well. Oh no, they actually stole it back. these little towns have been captured now. He's freaking monks, man. I'm just feeding over here. Make sure that we're training them from the side that it makes sense to train them from. And even then, this is reinforcing from so far away at this point, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, heal them. No, oh, I do at least. It's very hard for them to push back. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I'm bloating Mitchie level of resources. And guess what? The castle is on a very slight hill. Color me surprised. That's fine. Oh, that's why I was thinking of knights, but if the opponent's making elevens as well, it makes the most sense to move. Knights. And come on, elephants are slightly faster anyway, so it's not as bad as it could be. Take too 
castle over here as well. Once that castle goes in, they should resign in theory. This is a damn conversion sounds have stopped. We have made the end for our folly, Suryavaman. We will fight you no more. And the rest of them are all gonna head towards here now. Then there's another little area over here I need to capture as well. Love how the northern rebels seem to be weaker than the eastern rebels. Which might actually just come down to unit choice. To be 100% honest. Correctly assigned to uh, control groups. They actually have this one even gated in though. Conversions, bruh. Oh my god, I think most of Purple's elephants are actually my elephants from when I was feeding them in. Of course, there's another castle to clear, and of course, it's on a. Oh, actually, it's got, got a little hill, so these should actually be on the same. Uh. Hikes this time. Nice little change. Finish it? Oh my god. I'm actually gonna need to send more up there. This way as well. This might help a little bit. Should be dealt with anyway now. I was actually in a little area over here. Uh, explains why they're able to get some units out. <gasps> no way. They might actually resign there if they don't have a town center. The reason I sent more up that way, so I didn't think I'd have enough to finish it off. Maybe we just need to finish off this then, and I'll be done.
I don't feel too confident about that castle going up, to be honest. Survive, villagers, survive! Okay, that should be red defeated as well. Please forgive us for our rash rebellion. We will serve you now. A bit late, huh? <laughs> I had to put two castles here, slightly raised. Not bad enough to have just one castle like that. Tell you what though, I'll do a solid AI. That was close. That was way too close. Need one more beat out of hope. Seville to actually attack now. Wish I had sappers then. Is that space for another castle? I think it is. Is that Jerry Adam? I think it is. I'm trying to select them. But... There we go. I think I finished these two castles and the mission should be done. Is light cab. Back. Delete a whole bunch of bills. You have served your kingdom well. I see more military. Oh wait, that was all mine. The entirety of my gold villages. Oh boy. Oh well. I think I cleaned the entire map. <laughs> yep. The scum Jaya Vera Varmin lies in the dirt. His force is broken. The south will oppose us no more. Easy. <laughs> GG. Humans are interesting creatures. At times they display incredible brilliance, and yet at others, they behave like obstinate fools. One can only wonder at the folly that caused the rebel factions to not coordinate their forces. A bundle of sticks is difficult to break. 
but individual twigs snap with ease. Soya Varman's victory assured that his soldiers would not forget this lesson. As the empire boomed, its neighbors became wary. They knew that the growing tiger will gorge itself on the prey that it deems most vulnerable. Some dreaded the looming war and prayed that their fears were unjustified. Others prepared for it. The kingdom of Tambralinga, a vassal of the great Srivijaya Antalasocracy, felt particularly threatened by Surya Varman's ambition. The empire was surrounded by hostile neighbors and conflict was imminent. It seemed that the only thing left to question was who would strike first. Surya Varman was wise enough to know that passivity would only lead to disaster. The various Burmese kingdoms to the west of the empire were hostile, but a potential ally lay beyond. The Cholas, a powerful dynasty based in the south of the Indian subcontinent also desired to bring about the downfall of the Srivijaya. Dispatching an envoy laden with gifts could be enough to convince Rajendra Chola that an alliance with Surya Varman would be to his liking. Kind of crazy to see how the uh, Cholas the Rajendra campaign kind of uh, finds its way in here. The road west is perilous. You may have your pick of as many troops as you can afford to pay with the gold that I have given you. You give me 200, that's nothing. Okay, two cohorts. Those are around by the war elephant. Um, one. This These one? elephants will crush all that stand in your way. This mercenary force will accompany you on your journey west. The other ones look kind of. The men we need. Onwards. The bridge west has been repaired for us. Unfortunately, the downside of picking the elephants is uh, so slow. Especially <laughs> the war elephant. Okay, is that local inhabitants that are allied? They won't hurt me. Our last ship is not fit to sail. These scouts will help you find another way to cross the river. Envoy must make it as well, boy. I'm kinda hoping the Envoy didn't have to survive. We will seize control of the water and send any enemy vessels to the bottom of the river. This way has 20 pop space. I'm gonna say based on the design it should do, but you never know. Imagine it'll be relatively obvious where I'm meant to unload. No! Ah. Uh. 
I always forget that patrol is the same hotkey as patrol as unload. Alright. I'm pretty sure this mission can be like super speed run. You know what you're doing with that? Use these to explore to the edge. So it seems like there's something more to explore there. Basically, like, I don't have to make it back with a certain number of units like I do in the uh, Eric Ivan Zied campaign. The uh, one way to cross the Pyrenees mountain. <laughs> this war elephant is so slow. I would advise you to take the southern route. Southern route. <laughs> Use that to go. Bye. That's my last regular elephant. Oh, I have one more, that's fine. Should really have them split into their own little group, so. Are we even have Tusk Swords in? <laughs> I've been forgetting Tusk Swords in all these scenarios so where I've been going elephants. To be fair, it's not really an attack I get too often normally. In team games, I get it, but in 1v1s. Like, there's so few opportunities to actually go into elephants, even with the new sieves. Like, when Gala, they kind of force you into it. They don't really have any other power unit. The Rat is kind of underwhelming, to say the least. Oh, okay, I only have one scout left. The envoy is, I think, the same speed as this I'm sure. Or maybe a little slower. Oh no, I'm actually luring in. Okay, good. <laughs> I was say, luring in. The uh, outpost I'm trying to avoid, probably not the smart call. Oh, no, they're actually like a bit. Probably not the smartest idea. Uh... <laughs> Think of that, it's fine. Kind of at least given us a list. I think maybe we do. I just we keep missing shots. Ah, oh, the AI is moving in between the shots. I regret selecting the War Elephant one. Maybe less so now. At least I'm not hard coded to. Why did it go back? At least I'm not hard coded to attack the Grand Chariot here.
I don't believe that light camp is still alive. Maybe there was some more aid over here or something, that's why they that's that's the map for an aid. That's a heavy scorpion. Here they are. Do not let them reach the port. No, the world is kind of getting wrecked. Well, that was depressing. Once we clear most of them, we should be able to send the chariot and the envoy in. They have their final armor on those. Guess I am missing, Bracer. They gas him. Despite the hardships of the journey through hostile territory, the diplomatic convoy arrived in Chola lands largely intact. Rajendra Chola was pleased with the gifts that the envoy lavished upon him. Particularly impressive was the Grand Chariot, a work fashioned by the finest craftsmen in Angkor. Generous offerings and well-chosen words go a long way with a magnanimous ruler. A bargain was struck, and the envoy returned to Angor bearing news of the Alliance. With the Alliance made and the pieces on the board, conflict was inevitable. The Tambralingas themselves posed only a token threat. But they had the support of the immense naval empire of Srivijaya. The prowess of the Srivijaya navy was unmatched, but their coalition was at a strategic disadvantage. The Khmer forces threatened the enemy by land from the north and by sea from the east, while the Chola struck out from the west. The enemy found themselves surrounded on all sides. Suryavarman sent word to the Chola force to establish a foothold on the Malay Peninsula. Taking the initiative, he ordered the outfitting of a massive navy to challenge the Srivijayans and Tambralingas for maritime supremacy. Everything hinged on the success of the Chola force that had landed on the mainland. If they could present a formidable enough threat and occupy the enemy land forces, Surya Varman would be able to wrest control of the water and launch a devastating amphibious invasion. If the Cholas were driven from their foothold, the Khmer would be forced to face down their opponents alone, a prospect that Surya Varman preferred not to contemplate. This is one of those annoying missions because the Cholas are just useless. Bye. Our Chola allies have established a foothold in Tambralinga lands. It must be held at all costs. <laughs> that should be another TC spot. <laughs> And we'll start heading over that direction with those. From a super dry it starts at the Imperial Age. Oh boy. Didn't realize I actually got an army over here. Shoot! Hey, 
so sad. Fuck away. Yeah. I could probably do the pop spice anime, right? Yeah, yeah. Ah, there's another little outpost over here. Well, I actually have the rest of that now. This will be really handy for all the docks I'm going to want to place eventually. I'm digging the changes to this mission so far. Places are still docks and not harbors. Just, yeah. Oh no, why did I send them in? I'm trying to sneak past. Actually, want castle up here anyway. Maybe get to him pretty quick as well. Castle is happening. No! The remake got long. Castle first. Yeah, I'll lose all my fishing ships somewhat soon. Okay, so that's done. That was another tower. No bob run yet. Way too many going to gold at the moment. Goes my fishing ships. I should probably just set them on this area. Once we at least have this area dealt with, that's something. I even have Botkin in. Get a university as well. Lost the monk again. Uh, Nella Castle on this part. 
I need as much food as I do in some of the missions. I will be mostly attacking from water here. Wait, these are the rest of that kicking ass. <laughs> this might actually. Oh no. Okay, find them. Might be the most useful. Campaign AI if they keep winning these fights. Some of these over here, I guess, a little more useful with them. Wish that for this mission alone you could get harbors of Ma. I can sneak over and capture that. Definitely need to start stockpiling food, but. Yeah, we're just gonna idle TCs for quite some time here. Maybe I'll buy a couple hundred. Always sell it again later on. And right, now I can start queuing again. Get ready to try and be cheeky with them all. Okay, dodge one shot. Aha! Do I even need that anymore? Sucked in! <laughs> I'm very much sure about it. Guarantee it. That is a slight issue I was a little worried about. I actually don't think I have that many on farms. I was getting worried about overstockpiling it when I'm going on a water mission. Okay, we we'll, we lost them. Um, that in, maybe that in as well. Actually, it's probably more important to get that. Yeah. I have to skip dry dock for now if we even get dry dock. I actually don't know what Khmer's water tech is like, to be honest. Now they're kind of getting clapped. I'm a little bit late. I know I get fast fire, so... Start off with that. Well, I should have been producing on the way up as well, to be fair. Well, I don't get shipwright, but I do get dry dot. And I will eventually want to switch into galleons. Mm, so I think galleons was actually just general a better idea to open like that. Because I don't think they rebuild the uh, buildings. Three more. 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 Three more.
control. Blim, blim. Yep, sounds so. At least we're cleaning those ones now. Right, they're trying to trade with me. No, they're probably trying to trade with them. Orange, okay. <laughs> I'm so confused for a second though. The path in there made it look like a good bug. So we're gonna try with me. Wait, are these just war galleys? War galleys really don't hold up. Yeah, okay. So access to. Oh, wait, I am trading. I am building galley. That's how the full look of a hat, Alien. Freaking demos. I do have castles basically everywhere to protect. My economy. I think it builds on, oh, it's a shame. I don't know those bills survive too easily. I feel one trap to deal with this. Oh boy, they're starting to get a bit more cozy on land as well. Okay, right, start sending a few fires over. I wish they had like two villagers. I think like Greens has not given enough buildings to really pose that much of a use. Still not dead, holy crap. I don't know how the trap I'd made to speed this up a little bit. Delete those two. Okay, 
Okay, we're about to play in that, and then they might actually be more use. Let's see if there's anything over here. This is about having dry dock really useful. Not really too worried about gold, otherwise I would sliding some trade. Oh good, there's actually even more resources down here. In fact, I might take a few more off of here. I'm going be using food for quite some time. That's fine, I really don't need those skills. That uh, fishing ships. No, it's kind of sacrilegious, but I'm just going to delete the trap so I can constantly collect all on water. Then we'll go to the other mission. I really just wish that. I was in not one of those cities to get some fun, unique shit, yeah. How is it possible I have literally 40 air wood and I'm still getting through it all super quick? Also, I think that fire is a little less heavy on the formula. I think we got rid of the cannon. Yeah, cool. Everything else I don't really care about too much. That house kind of looks really nice. Potential castle? Maybe not. There we go. Unfortunately, I uh, one of the top water sieves late game. Nothing really special going on for them until that point. The late game is just because they have literally every attack if I'm not mistaken that you can get. Still not in the same class as Italians or Portuguese though in my opinion. Definitely want less fires and more regular galleys. We're not bad to bank a little bit of food though, so I will eventually need to go onto the land. I've got rid of so many freaking dogs. May start building transport here. We transport a shit ton of units. Our villages even. Yeah. 
I know the female of that, to be honest. I actually transfer 20. I think if I tr played this. About well, when I last played it, for that matter. I don't think I would have enjoyed the water aspect of this so much. But I think now that I actually appreciate water, kind of fun, honestly. Is when you need to. Um, I think I might come here first. I'll try and actually land directly here and start building castles everywhere. Okay, so we can come here. I'm actually running out of trees. I don't exactly know what I'm going for this yet. Yeah, this is a waste of a castle. We basically destroyed all of blues. Dogs. These ones can gather some resources though. An orange doesn't make cannon galleons, so they're not really a, a threat. Maybe not lose all the cannon galleons for free. Alright, start with one castle here. Architecture in and that and that. Don't think I'll be making up. I don't think that's the way to go here. Definitely think it's more likely to be elephant than anything else. They're still struggling here. Oh, well, they're actually, uh, gonna try and push this back with the units. <laughs> Seems like a waste of energy. Downside to going into elephants from my current eco is that it's literally set up for the opposite of elephant. That might be ambitious, to say the least. Really a TC over here so I can reduce more bills if I happen to lose them.
I'm writing some of this from that though. I don't know how many mills I've lost trying to get that castle up. to make some towers as well. goes up now. I started off with 20 villages, 4 were left on the island. And the rest of them. Minus 7 died. That's actually not as bad as it could have been. Lacking in navy at the moment. They haven't really know what happened to them. Actually, you're running out of gold as well. How many ships Orange was still producing? Alright, I should have a stable over here we get rid of. There's another one somewhere. They're only producing them from up here. I think we're good. That's sort of what I was worried about in terms of food though. Nice, we actually go in now. They decide to path in.
Hey, Orange shouldn't have any more firepower. Well, ship firepower anyway. That gets rid of the onages that we kept sending at me. I'm starting to get a half decent green economy going. No! God damn it. Okay, fire is pretty much now obsolete. Okay. It is randomly said in like three or four units to die into the castle. As I said, most freaking useless campaign AI ever. Let's go and see if there's an eco down here anywhere. I think there will be. Usually they reside after the castle's gone though. And uh, TC's for the matter. They actually want full on defeating that other things. Could be the last military building. Enough bills. Even the Sreevy Jaya fell aside. This is no match for the Commander. <laughs> that was so much alliance. more effort than I needed to be. Did they resign or did they get defeated? It felt like they got. Okay, they didn't get defeated because there's still at least one villager alive, but. Pretty damn close to getting defeated there. Or well, they resigned. I really like placing these castles. I knew there was still a stable somewhere. Didn't know where, but I knew it existed. And I probably wasted a good few thousand resources over there. Sort of out of range now. I'm looking about it, sea drums, maybe. Another castle? How many castles have I built this game? Like seven, eight, nine? Kind of like crazy. There might have been a potential reason they didn't give the AI a proper economy in this mission. 
is that the number of castles they would have been able to produce make it even more effort to push could have had an impact I love how green's just hoarding literally probably at this point tens of thousands of resources. Look at that sort of score. The feeble Tambralingas are no match for our glorious armies. Did you? Storms raged as wooden vessels rammed into one A deafening sound prefaced by the whistling of projectiles through the air. Thousands of men sank below the angry waves, never to rise again. The Chola land force fought bravely, holding to the last. Just as it seemed that they were to be defeated by the Tandralinga Srivijaya force, salvation arrived in the form of swarms of Khmer. Victory has a glorious taste. Over the course of a single conflict, the influence and power of the Empire were raised to unprecedented levels. With the maritime rivals of the Empire crushed, Soyan Varman set his sights on the mainland. As the war with the Tambralinga Srivijaya alliance had progressed, it had not escaped his attention that rivals closer to home had been plotting and wishing for his ruin. The rulers of the various Burmese and Cham kingdoms slunk around in the shadows like disgraced cowards. Instead of recognizing the superiority of their larger neighbor, they deviously plotted its downfall and encouraged rebellion within it. This behavior was unacceptable. Suya Varman's enemies may have been too intimidated to face the Kumai Juggernaut head on, but Suya Varman had no reservations about challenging his neighbors. It was high time that the Empire saw further expansion. The Mekong and Chow Friar rivers snaked through rich, fertile lands held by decadent, unstable kingdoms ripe for conquest. Triumph would add yet another achievement to Surya Varman's legendary military record. Started playing this mission and then realized halfway through that you don't actually get cannon galleons, so my plan was ruined to say the least. Bountiful lands surround us, ripe for the taking. We shall build an empire to last a thousand years. We're trying to get the achievement here for all the getting all the relics in. I'm also trying to get multiple TCs rolling. So now that I know that I can't make cannon galleons, we have to change our plan quite a bit. Yes, and the next group down as well. Need a lot of TCs. I don't know which route they're trying to go for at the moment. I think there's one over here they might be trying to go for. I should have five relics.
I wish I specifically had my dot pop key come over here, but anyway. Allied one apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, control group them all. Okay, we need to start making some fires pretty damn soon. <laughs> My last play this mission you could actually get. Bombard cannon has come out. Okay, let's get some. I thought that was mine or not. Oh, uh, well, to be fair, it would be a little bit of a waste. They're being so dumb right now. So I have nothing to protect this. Oh, okay. That's fine. Better on for you, Benson. Once that's done, at least there'll be less. Perhaps, although not completely gone. I was hoping to take him out completely, but. No. Too heavy on stone. Visions are freaking night, man. 
It almost be the point where I can board units pretty much constantly. I'm actually not on black list. That trap's a problem. Uh, maybe I just make some own traps. Trying to hit their traps. Yeah. Still missing bracer in chemistry. Oh good, they're actually attacking with something else here. Yeah. Actually, probably not the uh, considering that's pretty damn close to that. I think that. Problem is to secure the relics, I actually have to secure water as well. Can you please hit the down crab? Please? Thank you. <laughs> it actually is dodging my trebuchet shots. Attacking my villagers. Can't lose that castle. <laughs> no, it's so bad. I'm gonna lose two traps. Well. Use the conversion trick. I'll show you the intention later. They did it once. Three more draw. Yes, I'm sorry. I end up secure at that relic over here. Yes, I'm sorry. It's gonna take literally hours <laughs> to get those relics. Alright. 
stream roots were not bad. Well, I'm not producing enough bills, and I've got a lot of idols there. I'm at. Oh wow, there's actually three traps taking up the space of... Uh, well, what I wouldn't give to have cannon galleons here. Yeah, let's get some traps going over here as well. Wait, why am I selling food? I have like 4,000 gold. Siren soon. I still need way more on food. Where am I going to be able to get the pop space with more on food? One's on gold. Where are they all though? Is it here? Yeah, the bottom there. Sri Vijaya delegation has arrived, bearing 500 gold in tribute. Did I actually manage to get through all of that gold? Oh. So many freaking enemies. At least we got rid of one of those. And they have demos as well. <laughs> okay, we're definitely gonna be switching over to galleons. For our water escapades. I basically have to defeat Blue. Got to progress the mission as well. I don't want to get all three. 
pretty quickly. They achieve him anyway. Shouldn't they be out of range back considering they have the same upgrades in the same range? Nah, I've shipped on this spot. Gold as well. They have a lot of army. I don't know where all this. I think I remember why I went for the uh the one the last time now. Is far easier. Where are all my ships? So I keep losing them. I must do. That's relic number eight. <laughs> Plus six for me, actually. Like... <laughs> the ramming the things. But once I have. Once I have blue down, that'll be eight. Because the other two are on the outside. I still have enough pop space to uh, defend and push at the same time. I want to do the land and the water. I do have a lot of villages that I aren't really accounted for. Get rid of that. That all is started in the map. If these maps aren't all huge, I'd use scorpions. Seems like they have one extra range or something, but they don't. Holy hell. Thanks to the gold and absolutely nothing else, you lazy piece of shit. <laughs> These here. Try some more stone. <laughs> The problem is I don't really want to defeat Red yet, because if I do, then that limits the options on who I can finish the mission off with. 
in terms of who I kill here. Luckily they're just buying me so let's go I'm so Especially as long as you have a meat shield. Sorry, fishing ships. Oh, I lost all my navy again. That's great. Thing is that red's the only one making trebuchets. Everything else I can deal with. I need us to get less villages on board. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Probably don't need more bills, right? <laughs> Absolutely. The only problem here is that they could end up defe defeating an enemy. Uh, unlikely though. It's the AI. Giant delegation has arrived, bearing 500 gold in tribute. Where are my nearest villages to her? Not close enough. <laughs> they got the rocks back straight away. Alright, let's go ahead and deal with that, hopefully. Well, that'll do, I guess. Not really the one I wanted to attack, but. Yeah, that's all of my arms gone. Oh! I don't know why they didn't cross. Shit. End up making more bills inevitably. I was wondering where all my reinforcements were. Turns out they were just stupid. I think you actually have to win this from land. But they've lost a few though.
Oh no! Don't lose that. Whoever decided no cannon guns in this mission, fuck you. <laughs> Sincerely. Hello. <laughs> Not having a cannon guy in this mission is. Oh, so bad. And rather unsurprisingly, they're. Okay, so Blue should resign pretty soon. And also, whoever put the relic up here, curse you. <laughs> if those are the same person, double curse you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm mostly joking. Uh, I want to kill off Red, I think. I wish I'd done that earlier. I don't know why making hustler actually. Blue, you have one thing remaining. You have broken our armies, Suryavarma. Lava is yours yeah, yeah. to command. Bye. Yeah. I get that back. Yeah, Where's that transport? Oh, I lost it, didn't I? Doubt stable. Okay, green, uh, yellow killing someone is definitely not a threat then. I'm gonna lose one trap. Oh. Wow, that was some absolutely insane luck. There's a trap. Start getting with that as well. Uh, send a villager of the two with them as well. Probably easier to capture the relic and just leave it. Wait, find that sort of thing. A red will resign pretty soon. And then it seems to make sure I don't kill anyone else fully before. Get that last two relics in. Please don't hit this. No. Your military might forces us to our knees. Sorry, Alpha Knight of the Might. At least we'll get one bomb. The giant delegation has arrived, bearing 500 gold in tribute. Yeah, San Song. Yeah, San Song. Oh, I think he's actually gonna make it. Can I put a monastery here? Nope. <laughs> hey, repair. 
Supreme Ruby. Let's hope for the verse. I don't think the relic gets lost at sea. I think he just reappears over there if I lose it. Although I would probably be smart to drop it off here. Ooh, I have an idea. No! No! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that was a very dumb idea. Oh, that has way more stuff than I would expect them to have to build. I don't know why they wanted to walk around this direction to do this. Oh, actually, oh there's actually no way past. Got it. I just killed this castle. Actually, no, it's more the stable that's the issue. Ah, uh, the castle. Go for the castle. We won't finish them off, we'll just get rid of some of their buildings. Make them less aggressive. Let's try this again. Orange shouldn't resign here. I think I lost all my traps. Yeah. Looks that way. Wish I could build a bridge. <laughs> Then I went off before or after. That, but. Oh, I'm gonna delete it now. Then I'm straight through the middle of that, as poor as the spider slider. Oh. <laughs> That's how my previous strength died. In case anyone was wondering. Oh, I lost that castle again. By this time, it should be easy enough to get this. Such a dumb relic to try and have to get. Will they just path through? I don't think he will, will they? Okay, so 
there's at least that in the way we know that much. You gotta be kidding me, come on. I got denied as well. Is the mic even busy for a minute? Oh, what? So that one doesn't matter. They just have a random relic at the edge. I don't want it now that I've spent all this effort indicating that freaking relic. The giant delegation has arrived, bearing 500 gold in tribute. On the very edge of the map. I get it. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. Well, at least now everyone knows that you don't actually have to get that relic if you guys are wanting to get that mission done yourselves. Just this one up here. The ones that blue ends up holding. the ones you can find on the map. I thought this would be a perfect candidate for a one of those missions uh, where like met Barbaros of Rule and those sorts of ones. I know I've got villagers going over there somewhere. How's that TC still alive? Jeez. <laughs> it's looking so promising for approximately three seconds. I take back what I said about the Chollas before. This is the most useless campaign AI. Then there's another orange settlement over here somewhere.
keep sending war units from somewhere, I think. Or maybe not. Oh, that was a siege workshop. I dislike it when they put buildings on top of buildings like that. I don't, know if it, I don't think it's intentional though. Definitely more satisfying winning this by uh, killing all your enemies than by a wonder, though. GG. Hegemony is a wonderful thing. The power and prestige of the Khmer Empire reached new levels under Suryavarman I, and all prospered. Despite being known as a great conqueror, Suryavarman was not simply a militaristic aggressor. His reign was marked by vast improvements in the general infrastructure of the Empire and an emphasis on religious toleration. He erected numerous palaces and temple complexes and ruled benevolently. His legacy lives through these structures, the pride of our citizens and the strength of the Khmer Empire. This legacy is a cause worth defending. It is this notion of greatness that you must invoke to electrify the minds of the common soldiery. That does it for this Surrey Overman campaign. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. If you did, be sure to leave a like and I'll see you soon with the Burmese campaign.